Well, welcome to uh, uh, our second official uh, Memphis Answers. Uh, today we have a question about uh, the thrust bearing in our bandsaw over there. Let's knock off the chit chat, take a look at the question, and try to dream up an answer. Our question this week comes from uh, Tom Denny. This is nice, nice job on both rockers. Um, but when you get a chance, please adjust your thrust bearing on your bandsaw. Let's uh, think about that. This is a thrust bearing right here. Uh, these are the uh, blade guides. These are homemade. Um, and Tom, I did just adjust it. Um, let's uh, see what happens. The blade I have in there, I actually put it in there when we were fixing that last rocking chair, has a kink in it, and the kink is not, you know, it, it's not kinked. It's, it's kinked kind of funny. It's, it's kinked along the long axis, so the thing goes through the machine. I've exaggerated it here, but there's a curve in it this way and so it jumps off that bearing and I had that bearing backed way off because the blade was banging into it let's uh, go over there and see this banging effect now I'm gonna for since this is April 1st you're gonna think this is an April Fool's joke but it isn't um, this blade has a has an S curve in it where I damaged it and I was going to throw it away but I put it in here to I kind of twisted it with pliers and tried to fix it but I couldn't and I put it in here and used it and it actually cuts better with the kink in it but let's look at the noise it makes see it jumping it, it right now is completely off that bearing See? See how much of kink it has in it? There's the kink right there. Look how far it's away from that bearing. Let's fire it up. So the long and short of it is, it seems like the, 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 the cause of that knocking is the thrust bearing, but actually it's a bent blade. And now for the part you're going to think is a, uh, um, an April Fool's gag, the saw actually works better, the, it actually works better with that bent blade. blade. And I've had it on there for well over a month, and I can't see any reason to uh, to fix it. I mean, it still cuts, still cuts good. It cuts faster. Uh, it guides through the wood better. Uh, so I'm kind of an experiment. So what Tom thought was uh, simply a badly adjusted thrust bearing is actually. A, a blade with an S turn in it uh, that's pounding against the wood. And I was going to change the, uh, change the blade back when we were working on that rocking chair. 
the arm of that rocking chair when we were duplicating the handles. I was going to change it then, but then I, I realized that the blade was actually cutting better with that uh, with that back and forth motion. I guess it was clearing out the uh, you know clearing out the kerf by going in and out. So uh, I wish this wasn't April first because you're going to think it's a gag, but I don't recommend you using using bent uh, blades. Uh, but uh, it's kind of an experiment and it seems to be working. But you're right, Tom, I did need to adjust that uh, thrust bearing and I did. So, so I guess that's it for Memphis Answers number two. Thanks for playing along.